we are discussing about the one of the example of dihydric alcohol that is ethylene glycol in the first day we have studied methods for the formation of ethylene glycol how it is prepared in laboratory well in the second part we have studied physical properties of ethylene glycol now let us see next part chemical reactions of ethylene glycol what is the nature of that oh group that first oh group is a primary and this is also primary thus both the oh groups are primary in nature and therefore ethylene glycol shows the chemical property just like primary monohydric alcohol uh, it having two oh group but the reactivity of that two oh group is a different in some cases one oh group is more reactive than another ya matlab ek oh dusra peksha thoda sa more reactive mun act hoto in some cases let us see first reaction and this is the acidic nature yes this is our ethylene glycol when this ethylene glycol is treated with the sodium this is the reaction with sodium metal this reaction is carried out at temperature 325 degree kelvin okay now what happens here this is very simple reaction this reaction is also shown by primary alcohol methyl alcohol ethyl alcohol etc just like that ethylene glycol also undergo same type of reaction so what happens here one of the hydrogen atom here one of the hydrogen atom is replaced by sodium kya matlab ek hydrogen sodium mein replace hota and we get the monosodium glycolate this is called monosodium glycolate kyun apan tela sodium salt of ethylene glycol asai manuya now in this reaction in this reaction there is just a loss of hydrogen from ethylene glycol then this reaction is called acidic reaction here also that ethylene glycol loses one hydrogen and therefore it shows acidic nature and we get the monosodium glycolate now in second step second step mane kya hota it react with the another sodium but that reaction is takes place at temperature 433 degree kelvin and that second hydrogen also replaced by sodium to suddha sodium na replace hoto and we get the disodium glycolate means ethylene glycol when it reacted with the sodium in first step one hydrogen is replaced by one sodium we get monosodium glycolate in second step another hydrogen is replaced by sodium we get a disodium glycolate but oh group react one after other both the hydrogens are replaced by sodium but one after other first hydrogen is replaced by sodium at low temperature at 325 degree kelvin, uh, kelvin but second hydrogen is replaced by sodium at 433 degree kelvin means sir the reactivity of first oh is more now question arises why first oh is more reactive than second here in this reaction both the oh participate in the reaction but one after other and the reactivity of both the oh is also different second oh act as a electron withdrawing group manje oh ani carbon cha madhe je electron pair ahe tuma sarvanna maithe minus i effect electron withdrawing group manje ka फिर या बॉन्ड मध्य जी इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर है इट अट्रैक्ट दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर टूवर्ड्स इट सेल्फ दिस इज कॉल्ड माइनस आई इफेक्ट वी नो दैट दैट इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट ट्रांसमिटेड इन अ चेन का होता इतनी इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर इकड़ ओढ़ी कि सुधा बॉन्ड मध्य इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर इकड़ ओढ़ी जते इतनी इलेक्ट्रॉन इत ओढ़ी जते होता ऑक्सीजन हाइड्रोजन या मध्य जो बॉन्ड है दिस बॉन्ड ब्रेक्स इजीली ब्रेकिंग इजीली होता and therefore that reaction takes place at low temperature itho matra manje second jo step ahe ya madhi second step je ahe itho matra ha jale second oh group react hoto tyavele sa ona jo ahe it do not having minus i effect to minus i effect dakhat nahi hai ani mhanun tachi ya second oh chi reactivity je ahe ti comparatively kami ahe and therefore it requires high temperature mhanun high temperature la ti reaction hote this is just about uh, uh, acidic nature uh, ethylene glycol on reaction with the sodium metal we get monosodium and disodium glycolate okay now let us see second reaction reaction with hydrogen halide hydrogen halide means hcl hbr hi etc okay suppose ethylene glycol is treated with the cl here also it reacts with the hcl in two step pehla step pe kya hota 
दॅट ओ एच ग्रुप वन ऑफ द ओ एच ग्रुप इज रिप्लेस बाय क्लोरिन या मधला एक ओ एच हा क्लोरिन ने रिप्लेस होतो अँड वी गेट द इथिलिन क्लोरोहायड्रीन दिस इंटरमिडिएट इज इथिलिन क्लोरोहायड्रीन नाव दॅट इथिलिन क्लोरोहायड्रीन फर्दर रिॲक्ट विथ द अनादर मलेक्युल ऑफ एच सी एल अँड हिअर ऑल्सो दॅट ओ एच इज रिप्लेस बाय क्लोरिन अँड वी गेट द दिस इज इथिलिन डायक्लोराईन अँड दस इथिलिन ग्लायकॉल ऑन रिॲक्शन विथ एच सी एल both the oh are replaced by chlorine one after other doni oh ke chlorine na replace hota but one after other in first step one oh is replaced by chlorine we get ethylene chlorohydrin while in second step another oh is also replaced by chlorine and we get the ethylene dichloride okay this is just about the reaction with hydrogen halide okay now we have studied first two reactions one is the reaction with sodium metal that is acidic nature how that ethylene glycol react with the sodium metal in two state and in second ahe reaction with hydrogen halide here also how hcl react with the ethylene glycol and we get the ethylene di- uh, ethylene dichloride and ethylene chlorohydrin this is reaction with hydrogen halide and third one is the oxidation of ethylene glycol we know that if there is a addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen then it is called oxidation we can carry out the oxidation of ethylene glycol by using different oxidizing agent okay now let us see first one oxidation with lead tetraacetate okay this is our ethylene glycol okay i have shown uh, ch2oh ch2oh this is ethylene glycol when it is treated with the lead tetraacetate okay this is the lead tetraacetate what happens here in first step that bond between two carbon atom this is carbon carbon bond breaking simultaneously one hydrogen from this oh and second hydrogen from another oh is removed means there is a loss of two hydrogen atom therefore it is oxidation act now there is a formation of h c h double bond o ani khalcha bajula suda h c h double bond o means we get the two molecules of formaldehyde this is the example of formaldehyde called as formaldehyde and thus ethylene glycol reacts with the lead tetraacetate and there is the formation of formaldehyde we get the carbonyl compound okay now that two hydrogen atom yamadle two hydrogen atom and two acetate group yamadhe asnara ch3coo ashe two actually there are four acetate group attached to the lead and there are two acetate group and that two hydrogen they form ch3coh acetic acid two molecules of acetic acid but remaining part kya hai the lead which is attached to the two acetate group means it is lead diacetate okay and this is the example of oxidation reaction we have carried out oxidation of ethylene glycol by using the reagent lead tetraacetate there is a cleavage of carbon carbon bond there is just loss of two hydrogen atom and during that process there is a formation of formaldehyde as a main product this is oxidation by using lead tetraacetate now let us see second oxidizing agent per iodic acid okay now this is our ethylene glycol same compound when treated with the per iodic acid hio4 this is per iodic acid again example of oxidizing agent so what happens here here also there is breaking of this carbon carbon bond and also that two hydrogen atom ya madle he two hydrogen atom ithun bahar padta and there is the formation of same type of compound ithe sudha tyas paddhatiya compound milto ithe hch double bond o and there are two molecules of that hch double bond o means this is formaldehyde actually okay same type of oxidation is here also two hydrogen atom and one of the oxygen one of the oxygen it form h2o and remaining part is the hio3 and this is the oxidation of ethylene glycol into formaldehyde and that oxidation can be carried out by using per iodic acid or same type of oxidation can be carried out by using lead tetraacetate okay uh, now let us see one more oxidizing agent that is the anthenic agent by by using nitric acid how the that ethylene glycol undergo oxidation by using ethylene uh, sorry nitric acid ethylene glycol ch2oh ch2oh first tell me what is the general trend for the oxidation of alcohol particularly primary alcohol what is the general trend for the oxidation of primary alcohol primary alcohol on oxidation gives aldehyde that aldehyde further on oxidation gives carboxylic acid this is the general trend 
Secondary alcohol on oxidation gives ketone, which on further oxidation gives carboxylic acid. Tertiary alcohol on oxidation gives ketone, which on further oxidation gives carboxylic acid. This is the general trend for the oxidation of primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohol. Now here, both the OH group of ethylene glycol are primary in nature, and therefore they undergo oxidation as per the regular trend. Means suppose that ethylene glycol is created with the HNO3 nitric acid. One of the nascent oxidate oxygen participate in the reaction, and what happens here? Here one of the OH group undergo oxidation. Yeah, मतलब एक आ primary OH तो पहला step में the oxidation होता, and we know that oxidation होता मंजे क्या होता? It converts into aldehyde. Primary OH group convert into aldehyde. मत कशी reaction होते? One of the hydrogen या carbon वाला एक hydrogen and another hydrogen from the OH group. इतना एक hydrogen इतुन बाहर पड़तो, and there is a conversion into CHO. Means primary CH2 OH group convert into CHO aldehyde. Group. Now that two hydrogen, itla a hydrogen, ya madla a hydrogen, ani ha nascent oxygen. There is a formation of water molecule. In first step, one of the primary OH group convert into the corresponding aldehyde. That compound further undergo oxidation. It again undergo oxidation. Now what happens here? Another CH two OH, second to CH two OH group ahe. It also convert into CHO. That's a conversion. Puna anchor ekar CHO madhe hota, and this compound is called glyoxal. It is called glyoxal. Means both the OH group, both the CH to OH group, they convert into aldehyde group one after the other. Eka pato pat tanse conversion hota, and we get the glyoxal. Now this glyoxal further under oxidation. Now what is the oxidizable group? Kya madhe konta hai? Yes, one CHO group convert into कार्बोक्सिलिक ग्रुप कारण CHO अल्डिहाइड से कन्वर्जन कैसा मध्य होता ऑक्सीडेशन कैसा मध्य होता अल्डिहाइड ऑक्सीडाइजेस इनटू कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड मंजे इतना एका निशुल्क ऑक्सीजन चारिशन होते एंड दिस ग्रुप कन्वर्ट इनटू द COOH जब से कन्वर्जन COOH मध्य होता एंड दस वी गेट द अनदर कंपाउंड जिसे ब्लायोक्सिलिक एसिड it again undergo oxidation and second CHO is also convert into COOH. The second conversion COOH made hota and finally we get the oxalic acid. This is the general trend for the oxidation of ethylene glycol. Now there is one more mode. There is one more possibility. I will explain that another possibility also. Suppose this compound, yeah, compound or upon concentrate karuya. This compound again undergo oxidation. Second mode konta hai. It again undergo oxidation and here directly that CHO. Maga shi apan khali kaya da kolo ta. Ek CHO da la ki dusra CH2 OH oxidation ho ta. But it's a unkinic possibility kaya hai. Here that CHO directly convert into COOH. Manche agodar eka puruna eka group to oxidation ho ta. LDI madhe. LDI ta COOH madhe. Okay. Now this again convert into. Purcha step madhe kaya ho ta. Second OH group. आता सेकंड ओएच जो आहे त्याचं ऑक्सिडेशन होईल अल्डिहाइड मध्ये वी गेट द ग्लायोक्सिलिक एसिड एंड फर्दर दैट ग्लायोक्सिलिक एसिड अंडर ऑक्सिडेशन एंड दैट अनदर सीएचओ कन्वर्ट इनटू सीओओएच दिस इज द सेकंड पॉसिबिलिटी वी गेट द ऑक्सिलिक एसिड एज अ फाइनल प्रोडक्ट एंड दस इन इथिलीन ग्लाइकॉल देयर आर टू प्राइमरी ओएच ग्रुप एंड दे अंडर गो ऑक्सिडेशन वन आफ्टर अदर फर्स्ट Primary OH group convert into aldehyde, which convert into corresponding carboxylic acid. One by one, both the primary OH group undergo same type of oxidation, and we get the oxalic acid as the final product. This is just about the oxidation. We have studied uh, oxidation of ethylene glycol by using three different reagents. One is the lyric tetracycline, then second one is the periodic acid, and third one is the uh, nitric acid. And in the case of nitric acid, we get the oxalic Acid as a final product. Why in the case of lyric tetracid and per iodic acid, we get the formaldehyde as a final product. Okay, this is just about the oxidation of ethylene glycol and also about the chemical reactions of ethylene glycol. This is just about the chemical reaction. Now let us see uses of ethylene glycol. Yeah, you just upon study karna raho. Yeah, my first use main kai santai. It is the best example of solvent. It is best example of solvent. We know that so many chemical reactions are carried out in presence of solvent. For example, we can use water, then ethyl alcohol, methyl alcohol, then carbon tetrachloride, cyclohexane, n-hexane, benzene. These are the examples of 
organic solvent. And similar to that organic solvent, we can use our ethylene glycol for, uh, for as a solvent for so many organic reactions. This is the best example of uh, solvent actually. Now let us see uh, next use. Okay, it is used as a preservative. मुझे ऐसा यूज अपन प्रिजर्वेटिव मनुष्य सुधा करता आहो। The next one, yes, it is the best use actually, antifreeze agent in the automobile radiator. मुझे automobile radiator में दे antifreeze agent मनुन ये तो यूज केला जातो। It act as a antifreeze agent. मुझे ते पानी आला फ्रीज हो देतना ये पानी आला बर्फ हो देतना ये अनि मनुन अपन या automobile radiator में दे या ठीक नहीं ये तो यूज करता आहो इथिलीन ग्लाइकॉल सा as a antifreeze agent. Okay, this is the best use of इथिलीन ग्लाइक त्यानंतर अंकिने कूलिंग एजेंट इन एरोप्लेन एरोप्लेन मध्ये कूलिंग एजेंट म्हणून सुद्धा इथिलीन ग्लाइकॉल यूज केला जातो देन इट्स अ डायनाइट्रेट डेरिवेटिव यूज्ड एज अ एक्सप्लोजिव याचा जो डायनाइट्रेट डेरिवेटिव आहे म्हणजे याचा नाइट्रेट डेरिवेटिव तयार करायचा एंड दैट नाइट्रेट डेरिवेटिव इज यूज्ड एज अ एक्सप्लोजिव इन द मॅन्युफॅक्चर ऑफ टेरिलिन म्हणजे टेरिलिन इज द बेस्ट एग्जांपल ऑफ पॉलिमर हे पॉलिमरचे एग्जांपल आहे आणि या टेरिलिनचा प्रिपरेशन मध्ये किंवा सिंथेसिस करण्यामध्ये आपण या इथिलीन ग्लायकॉलचा मोठ्या प्रमाणात यूज करतो दिस आर द सम कॉमन युजेस ऑफ इथिलीन ग्लायकॉल इट इज यूज्ड एज अ सॉल्वेंट देन इट इज यूज्ड एज अ प्रिजर्वेटिव देन एंटीफ्रीज एजेंट इन ऑटोमोबाइल रेडिएटर ऑल्सो कूलिंग एजेंट इन द एरोप्लेन and uh, dinitrate derivative it's dinitrate derivative used as explosive and lastly for the synthesis of terilin terilin cha synthesis madhe sudha yacha use kela jato okay this is just about the ethylene glycol and this is just about the ethylene glycol the dihydric alcohol madhe apan je example study kelela ahe ethylene glycol ch2oh ch2oh we have studied methods for the preparation then physical properties chemical reactions and uses of that ethylene glycol 